A recent poll revealed about two thirds of Americans say they that they are very or extremely concerned about hacking. They may have good reason to be. You bet. Devices such as smartphones, smartwatches, fitness trackers and security systems suffer about 5,200 cyber attacks a month. And the average household is hit with 104 threats every month. From your smartphone to your smart speaker to your smart security system, even a smart door lock. What can you do to protect your data and privacy? Ursula Perry has some quick fixes that can help. I worry that Google and well, other companies sell my information. At least when I was a kid, you know, my mom took pictures on a Kodak, with a Kodak, you know, and, and she could keep those, those pictures were at home and nobody else could see them. They're tracking us everywhere. Some apps for traffic reports, weather forecasting, or even food takeout can track your location, even when you're not using the apps. You can also tap each individual app to control which ones get access. Always, never, or only when you're using the app. Workers at Amazon, Apple, and Google may listen in on your recordings from your smart speaker to improve their voice computing technology. So if you prefer not to have a stranger listening to your recordings, you can delete recording devices, such as Alexa, by saying, Alexa, delete everything I said today. Facebook can track you through hundreds of thousands of partnerships it has with apps and websites to get details on what you do on the web for advertising purposes. So to limit the company from tracking you when off their website, go to the menu, hit settings and privacy, view or clear out your off Facebook activity, manage your off Facebook activity and select the clear history button. And one more privacy fix. You can always sign up for multi-factor or two-factor authentication when logging in. So even if a hacker has your password, they still would need more information or a code. Companies like Duo offer this for almost any website that you use. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.